Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing the custom calculator widget found at museforyoushop.com. Now, this widget allows you to do simple calculations on your Adobe Muse website. So I have an example site here, and here it says click here to calculate. So I'll click there, and we can see that the calculator comes up. And we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So I can do 50 plus 6 equals 56. Do 60 minus 20 equals 40. 12 times 5 equals 60. 50 divided by 10 equals 5. And here we have the clear button, so you can clear the numbers. So you can do like 25 and clear the numbers. Or if you're doing an equation, you can, you can clear it by clicking this button here. Very good, and all these buttons are customizable. You can customize the color and the font of these buttons, and you can also customize this text input in here. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to access this widget and how to use it. So let's begin. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com, and then you can click on the pop-up here. And you can subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year uh, by clicking here on the subscribe button. Or if you'd like to use PayPal to subscribe, you can click here where it says want to use PayPal, click here. You can also purchase the widget individually by going to the widget, which I have here, custom calculator. And then you can click on add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and all new widgets I come out with for $39 a year by clicking here to subscribe. So once you get the download, it'll come in a zip file, and there'll be a .mulip file in the zip file, and you just simply double click on the .mulip file, and it will install into your library panel. So I'll go to my library panel in Adobe Muse. If you don't see your library panel, you can just go to Window and then click on Library to make the library panel visible. Okay, so I'll scroll down to the Custom Calculator and I have it right here, Muse for You Custom Calculator Widget, and you can click the drop down next to the folder to access the widget. So now I'll just click, hold, and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. Very good, so there I have it. And I'm actually gonna add a browser fill to this, uh, to this website so we can see the, uh, the calculator better. So I'll go to Browser Fill, Add Image, and I'll click on this image here, and I'll scale to fill, position it in the center, and take off scrolling. So there we have our calculator, and we can actually make this text input larger by just dragging out and making it wider. All right, there it is. And I can go to File, Preview Page in Browser, and there we have our calculator. All right, very good. So let's check out the widget options. So if I click on the text input here on the widget, and I cl click on the blue circle with the arrow, we have the widget options. So we can actually change the calculator background color, calculator font color, calculator number size, operation color, operation background color, operation symbol size, equal color, equal background color, equal symbol size, border color, border width, border type, font family. Uh, we can select from over 700 Google fonts. Uh, we can set the font weight to be thicker or thinner. And here for the input styling, we can select text color, font size, border color, border width, border radius, border type, and focus border color. So when we click on the, in the text input, what color the border will be. And we can uh, change the placeholder text. So I can say, you know, click here to use calculator. Calculator, okay, and it'll change it in here. So now we're gonna preview this calculator. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And we've already seen it. So I'm just gonna uh, style this calculator with different colors. And I'll just delete that three there. So I'll go back to my Adobe Muse website. And I'm gonna bring up my color codes. Very good, so I have my color codes here. And I'm just gonna go through and restyle this calculator. So for the calculator background color, let's say I'm gonna use uh, let's go back to the colors here. I'll use this color here, this darker blue. And in the hex code, I'll just paste in that color. And then for the calculator font color, I'll say kind of light blue. 
Calculator number size, I'll say 16. The operation color, which is uh, the, the symbols like the multiplication and the addition symbols, I'll also make them light blue. The operation background color, I'll make this uh, kind of a pinkish color, a pink color. And I'll just paste that in here. And for the operation symbol size, I'll say 16 as well. For the equal color, I'll use this, uh, this blue here. And for the equal background color, uh, I'll say kind of this color here. I think it's a green color. The equal symbol size, again, we'll say 16. The border color, we'll leave it, or we'll make it this darker blue here. For the border width, let's say three, make it a little bit thicker. The border type, we'll leave it solid. And for the font family, to change the font for the calculator, you can just click on the widget and go to text. And then you can just select from any of these fonts. So I'll change it to Lotto Light. And then I'll go to my widget options again. And if you have inherent here, you could just change it using the text option here in Adobe Muse. Uh, if you want to use a Google font, you'll just delete this text in here. And then you can select from over 700 Google fonts. And then for the font weight, we'll leave at 400, which is uh, normal there. If we wanted it thinner or thicker, we'd just change this uh, here to less or more than 400. And then for the input styling, the text color, I'm going to say this pink here. And I'll just paste that in there. And then for the font size, we can make it a little bit bigger. So I'll say 32. And it just makes the whole input text box a bit bigger. The border color, I'll say this light blue. And border width, we can make it a little bit thicker. So we can say like maybe eight and border radius, let's make it rounded. So I'll say 100 to make it completely rounded. And then border type, we can change this here. So I'll say, let's try dashed. All right, there's dash, that looks pretty nice. And then focus border color, we'll change it to, to this green here. Okay. Okay, so we've just dialed the entire calculator. So let's see how this looks in our Adobe Muse website. So I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser. So I click on it. We can see the focus changes and the calculator changes. Uh, the colors are a little bit kind of out there uh, because we've changed it. And when you focus on the text box, it does turn into a square uh, just to match this calculator and the ability to, to make the calculator look in sync with the text box. So we'll do that. So let's do some calculations times 300 and we get a really big number and then we can clear it okay so as we can see the numbers are the lotto font uh, the buttons are that pink color and uh, the symbols are that blue color that we've uh, selected in the widget options so everything is really customizable um, for your calculator and it can really match your website and it can allow users to do simple calculations right on your adobe muse website uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, to get access to this widget, you can just go to museforyoushop.com. Then you can click on the pop-up here. And then again, you can subscribe and get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with by clicking this subscribe button. Or you can subscribe with PayPal by clicking here where it says want to use PayPal. Click here. Or again, you can scroll down to the widget, the custom calculator widget and purchase individually by clicking add to cart or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year by clicking here very good and there's a preview section as well where you can use the calculator you can just click on preview and you can use the calculator here all right very good so that's it for this video tutorial again i do this to help you build awesome awesome websites without code uh, if you like this video tutorial you can subscribe below also in the show more section are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video tutorial